மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க थैंक यू Now the Alakine is an absolutely fantastic opening for outplaying weak opposition. And many grandmasters are using it in open tournaments on that basis. One of these and he's using it very effectively indeed is the Canadian grandmaster Kevin Spraggett. And here we see him in action doing just that uh from a tournament played in Harlem, Netherlands in 2008 between Stefan Kuipers, who's not a weak player by any means, graded 2-3-2-1. First thing to notice is that Spraggett employs a superior move order in the opening uh as after knight c3 he goes knight c6. White is alert to the thought that the king the bishop on c8 is black's problem piece. So he plays h3 and now Spraggett plays bishop f5. Uh just getting this bishop onto the board quickly and um this looks like a very good move. Kuipers continues to develop absolutely normally bishop e2 bishop f6 and now white makes a mistake white certainly has to castle in this position and um well off that black can get reasonable play here maybe even with the move d5 but white plays d5 himself seeing d5 from black coming up and walks straight into bishop takes c3 check a structure damaging exchange which i don't think is working out too well for white kuipers castles or well, he's hoping to use the two bishops and perhaps occupy the d4 square but spraggett shows any thought of advantage for white in this position is illusory he brings the knight around to g6 very good and now he plays his knight back to d7 with a clear idea of repositioning that knight on c5 note now why is no way of dissolving the double pawns and they will remain weak until the end of the game queen d2 was answered by queen d7 <coughs> and now with thoughts of bishop takes h3 in the air at some point white plays king h2 h6 was played g3 and now b6 i estimate black's position is slightly better here rook takes e8 rook takes e8 knight e1 and now black plays knight e4 queen b2 was answered by knight g5 and suddenly storm clouds are gathering around the white king note kuipers has not even got his rook on a1 into the game yet so the action is taking place on the other side of the board and if g4 is white's best then he's probably lost in fact g4 walks straight into bishop takes g4 h takes queen takes g4 and after bishop e3 black went knight f4 queen d2 was answered by rook e5 and seeing no defense to uh the threat of knight f3 check followed by rook h5 kuipers decided to resign a very short brutal and effective game by spraggett and that shows the power of the alakine when you're a lot stronger you can create complicated situations and use this situ and use these complicated situations to your benefit சர்ப்ரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க தேங்க்யூ